Hey guys, welcome to another video review on uh, buymeaniphone.com. I'm Omar C, and the product I'm going to be showing you guys today is the iTrip Autopilot from Griffin with SmartScan. So I'm going to show you the close-ups of this on the other camera. I'm also going to show you how to use this in my, my vehicle, actual, my actual vehicle as well. So let's go uh, right now to the close-up camera and I'll show you some details. So here is the, the iTrip Autopilot with the SmartScan from Griffin. It's the packaging that comes in. I'll take it out of the package here so you guys can see uh, some of the close-ups of this, this product. And you can check it out. Griffin makes some really good products for the iPhone. I'm really, I'm really glad they're, they're sending the samples. I've been trying to get Griffin's uh, attention for a while. So they sent us uh, the iTrip Auto, which is pretty cool, autopilot here. And um, I'm going to show you an example of how to demonstrate this in my vehicle. But I just wanted to show you the actual product itself really close up so you can see you know, the parts and everything. See how it's pretty made, made of plastic. And the wire is probably about, I would say, three, no, maybe four feet long. And a normal basic size connector. So if you have a case on your iPhone that maybe uh, that only works with the Apple connector size, this should fit in there just fine because it's about the same size. And it doesn't have any type of uh, things you have to just pinch to pull out. You can actually just pull it straight out and it should be fine. It just clips in just like the regular, like the regular one does. And so here is the uh, the control part of it, the eye trip. And so obviously it's not going to light up right now, but I'm going to plug this into uh, my car and, and everything lights up. And I'll show you all the different functions and such and how that works. But this does charge your iPhone, and your, especially your iPhone 3G, which is a big issue because a lot of the older car chargers for the iPhone do not work with the iPhone 3G. But this does work with the iPhone 3G. It will charge it up, and it, will, it, it works as a uh, as a FM transmitter as well. So let me show you this in the vehicle and uh, demonstrate. Uh, my experience that I've had with uh, using the uh, auto, the, the, the uh, what's it called, the smart scan feature with this, and I'll show you in close-up details uh, also what the menu looks like on here when this is lit up and ready to go. So let's go to the car now. Okay, guys. So here we go. I have the it's already plugged in right here into my car, and I have everything here. So I'm gonna plug it into my iPhone right now, and uh, plug it in, and now it's charging. It is charging my iPhone. So the um, I have, I've kind of had a tough experience with this FM transmitter. Basically, like, I, like I'm going to show you later on, uh, when you press the function button here on the center, it gives you scan, presets, and mode options. And I'll show you close-ups of that uh, later on. So when I do function and scan, basically what this iTrip uh, Autopilot does is it's going to scan my radio frequency for different radio stations that should play the music clearly from my iPhone to my, to my car stereo. I've had some trouble finding really good stations for this to work. The station I know that for sure works good that I always use for all my FM transmitters is 87.9. Uh, but sadly enough, when I when I use the fine tune feature on here, it only goes down to 88.3. So I can't even reach the ideal station that I know works really well. So when you go here and you press scan, it'll scan through all the stations and it'll find the best ones for you. And it gives you three options right here. So P1, P2, P3. So when I press function, preset, and then I'll do P1. So 92.5, I've already programmed that into my radio. So let's play some music and see what the quality sounds like here. So I'm playing the music. I'll put on 92.5. And that is not, not, that is not the song I'm playing off of my iPhone. Um, this is a radio station. So one of the stations it actually chose was an actual radio station that works in my area. So that station is not going to work, so let's go to the next preset. Preset P2. 99.1, 90, I already preset my, my, my uh, car to it. So we got 99.1, I'm going to play the music. So that is the music I'm playing off my iPhone, playing some Get Up Kids. Uh, the quality on this station, not the best, a little staticky, and I notice a lot when I'm moving in the car, when the car is actually moving, it, I do get some a bit of static here and there. And also depends too, sometimes if I notice if I keep my iPhone like in here, or if I keep it up here above the radio, I, I get like different quality of audio. So that kind of varies as a, as a factor too. So let's go to the next preset, preset P3, 103.9, which I've already set in my phone, my car here. So better quality, 103.9, it was a lot better of a choice. Um, I'm not moving right now, the car is in the, in the parking lot, so I honestly don't know if the, 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 the quality would go up and down and static and that type of thing once the car is actually moving. But um, it has been kind of hit or miss when I've, been, when I've been using this. And like I said, depending on the area that you live in, you may have better luck with this than I did. But um, from the ones that it has for presets, when it actually does the auto scan, it doesn't always find the best one. And, but like I said, you can't fine tune it to pick specific stations that you know will work really well, like, like I mentioned already. 
Sadly, in my case, though, it won't go down low enough to hit the station. I know that works really well, so kind of a bummer, but, you know, it is what it is. So, but besides that, though, it does a good job. It obviously charges the phone, and, and I can also use the function here. So if I had this set stored away down here or something, I could just go, I could skip to the next song, but have that actually messing with my iPhone. And I'm not playing off a playlist right now, so it just stop the song, but I can go to, like, any one of these songs right here, play a little. So... If I do that, it'll skip, double tap <laughs> to skip the next song, so like that, or I can just pause it, and it'll pause the music for me right there. So I can control it from here as well, which is a nice feature in case you do stole your uh, iPhone some other place, so you don't want to be messing with it, fumbling with it. It's a lot easier just to touch the, uh, the, the buttons down there. So that's it. So let me go ahead and uh, show you on the other camera really close up what these, uh, what these details look like on the actual menu right here, okay? okay so here it is turning it on right now. So here is the controller, and you can see that it has a little white LED there, or a little the screen display. And so the middle button would be function, and the left and the right are if you want to fine tune. So let's say you've already done the auto tune and you found some stations you want to use, but like you want to check out to see if there's any of the stations on the side. All you gotta do is press the side button, and you can scroll through the different different uh, channels, like fine tune it. So if you press function. You get the option that was scan preset mode, okay? So if I go to function and do scan, this is when it actually scans all the stations in my area really quickly. And it's going to try to find the best stations uh, to use with the FM transmitter. And it doesn't take that long, a couple seconds. Saving three results. So we go. Those are the three stations it's found. P1, P2, P3. And so let me wait till this. Okay. So this is the main screen right here, function. So if you want to go to those presets, that's when you set, press the middle button again. And you can go this one, you can use this one, you can use this one. Whichever one you, whichever one that works best for you. And uh, if you go function and mode, this is when it gives you a couple options here. So you can say, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's try that again. Mode. So you can switch to mono or stereo on the side. Or you can do uh, smart sound on or off. And so those are the different uh, different options you have on here. So you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can go mono, you can go stereo. I'm sorry, this is kind of blurry. I'm trying to get as close to this as possible, but it's a little bit tough. So those are the options you get on there. Pretty easy to use, not too complicated. Um, I, I would recommend fine-tuning just in case, because uh, I've noticed every time you use the function and the scan mode, it gives you different stations every single time. So you might be able to find some good ones on there, but that's how you would fine-tune that. So this is a close-up of the uh, controller here.